Hello there. Um, again, here with a tutorial on Monastery Compass as we are transitioning to use it more and more. I wanted to take the couple minutes to go over photos because uh, this will be an important part of our communication with parents. So if you go into your photos, you will be able to um, select um, right now there's a lot of um, albums that I'm available I can see all of them you can search here which for an album that you want usually it will be easier to just do quick add and right now we have I have my uh, set up to toddler magnolias so if I drop up down then I will see all of the um, students of Magnolias. So I will click on one of them. Then if you want, you will just drag from your other uh, screen your photo here. Um, or you can click also to browse your computer if you have them somewhere in your computer then you will click save and this um, this photo will be shared you can also um, in here add a tracker or an observation of this photo um, it will just need to um, it just depends on what it is that you're adding you can also If you are creating an album, if you have created an album for your whole classroom, as, like Magnolias have here for toddler community, then you are able to share them with the entire community. It is important that we have the most, the majority of our photos into our individuals and few for our community. Um, this will make our photos be organized in Montessori Compass and not having to search for uh, photos once we are doing movie nap ceremonies um, and booklets. So please share most of your photos in the individual folders for each tile and few of your photos into a toddler or primary elementary classroom community. Um, then there, so that is for photos. Make sure that your quality is good. Make sure then um, just a couple of pointers on our photos. Um, we want to make sure that our we are taking photos at the child level so we kneel down or put our sit down so that we are seeing the child face to face not from the top so if you see here for this little girl you can see really that we the whoever took this photo was kneeling or sitting so that we can see their faces, not just the top of their heads. Um, also make sure that you, uh, if you have a camera, that you deselect the, mm, sometimes it get, gives you a date for the photo. Uh, this, we don't need that, because if you see here, it, the, the date that we updated is here. Now once you have these photos here, there's even a way to uh, edit them. If you go here, you can put a caption and that will be interesting for parents to see. If you need to rotate it, you will rotate it. And here is where you can select if you want to share it with the whole community or just with, the, in this case, Brooklyn's parents. Okay, I hope that this has helped. Of course, there's so much more that you can do with this app, but this is just a quick